station My life is so beautiful You know what I say yeah? It's all about bread man And I say this is the original chronic saying You're tuned in to the original bread man Keep it locked Rastafari said so that Ease out Yo you don't know this is a girl bad girl to see representing for bread man all who genuine red man we rule them And all who are chats We mute them, them no smoke, them no sick Them no have pink eye but them yeah in red Yeah man, bread man Mm-hmm, we better than everything All stead man <laughs> How you doing guys? Welcome back to the channel Welcome to the Leon the Bread Man channel This channel is really about things that I love and maybe that other people would love I would like to share out there. If you see the description of my channel, I really put that it's going to be about sharing knowledge and that's something that I'm always about. I believe that it, knowledge that I acquired through my life should be dispersed to people that I interact with. And with this age now with YouTube, something like this is that's what I'm going to utilize this channel for. So. Leon the bread man is basically a person that loves a lot of different things. So you're going to get a lot of different format um different knowledge and different things i love food so you might see some stuff with like some dishes um i'm not really a chef but i'll show you stuff that i like and maybe you might like i definitely like knowledge you see the uh, knowledge of history you see the first video that i posted to this channel about marcus garvey this is something that i love not just particularly marcus garvey but studying history and little trivias in history and little things that i've acquired knowledge of history that i've acquired i'm going to try and disperse that through this channel also so maybe some maybe somebody might benefit from it in some way shape or form other knowledge that I might not have, you could even leave a comment in the in down below if you'd like something for me to study and really try and do a video on. Um, I have friends that have different knowledge and everything. I'm going to visit them. I have friends that are mechanics so that if you have things about your car, I could visit them and do a video with them. Um, I'm going to just basically, like I said, try to spread the knowledge through this through this video. Then as far as in the mind of of Leon the bread man I hate talking about myself in the third person just like this but I'm also gonna give you a sight of like how I think and even if that could be a benefit if it's not a benefit then I'm sorry I'm sorry that I couldn't help you but if it is a benefit to you I just like to just show me some some love down below or just give me a like and hit a subscribe too because I like to grow this channel and the more subscriptions, you know how YouTube runs. The more subscriptions you have, the more your videos really get circulated on this platform. So please just subscribe, hit that bell so the next video that I make that you will get notified that I, um, I just dropped a video and we'll see how you really love this. Um, let me give you a little insight about me, like even like I when I say spread knowledge about like the way I think. Um, visit my Instagram. My Instagram is breadman876. And even when you see my Instagram page, um, you'll see one of the models that I've been carrying through my a good part of my life. And that is, if you stay positive, just staying positive will bring you blessings. I think I wrote it down and stay positive and you will be blessed. But this is something that I truly believe in. I'm not sure if everybody out there believe in that. Sure, some people don't even understand what I mean by that, staying positive. But those of you that do, this is for you. And let me really get like get into the midst of um, the midst of what I mean by staying positive. Um, there's a lot of times in life where we're going to go through different turmoils and different difficulties. And life is not easy. That's not how this life is. We're always going to have these difficulties. You're going to lose people. We're just coming out of COVID where a lot of families lost a lot of people. This is like a part, a time in history where the world is hurting right now. And this is where my mantra, staying positive, really has to resonate right now because a lot of people it's hard for you to stay positive when you're going through so many so much difficulties but it's something that you're going to have to do because what i've realized in this world is that when negativity happens and you just take that negativity and you try to spurt out more negativity around you it brings more neg negativity and let me just give you an example like you might wake up in the morning one morning and as you get out of bed, you stump your toe on the bed or something like that. And you, you just like, uh, and it just changes your attitude. 
right there. And I don't know if that ever happened to you before. That's happened to me. But, but that attitude, you may be late for work or you, you're running out and it's just like that anxiety that you're feeling, it just keeps carrying on. You're worried certain things that you worry about. They come to you. You you're not you realize I knew I should be worried about it, but sometimes you just have to really like push through that, push through that and say like you know what, this stump toe that I just can't, got up, that's not gonna change my day. I'm not gonna get angry uh, angry because you're gonna go outside and you have, you're already in that attitude and probably the first person you met outside they could be in a good mood but then they that attitude that you have because you're so upset that you just stumped your toe they might say hey good morning how you doing and you're like yeah yeah how you doing and they can sense that they can sense that negativity that's already floating around you because of that that little stump toe that you just had a few minutes ago inside your house but on the other hand now if you came outside and they and you was in that positive mode even with that stump toe, you try to stay positive. And you see this person, they say, hey, good morning, how you doing? And you say, hey, good morning, how you doing? You know, a long time ago, and you might have a conversation. These conversations that you have with these positive interactions usually are very fruitful. But interactions where you have that negative vibe and you know, that people don't want to even relinquish any information to someone that's like that because you're, that negativity makes you kind of like, you know, blocked off. You're blocked off from receiving. So this is why I really believe that staying positive brings you blessings because I know that staying negative does not bring you blessings. Staying negative, I've proven through my life that it just brings bad things after bad things after bad things. Um, I'll give you a story in not even in my life and not in my father's life, in my grandfather's life. This is a story that my father told me when I was very young and when I started thinking about the staying positive thing, I thought back to that story because when he told me that story, I knew nothing about it. I was a kid. I knew nothing about staying positive. And it, it was like a, the, on a different spectrum of positivity. It was a real negative story where my grandfather wanted my father to do something in the yard. We lived back in Jamaica. I was born in Jamaica. My father lived in Jamaica. We were in the more country, rural parts of Jamaica. We're not in uh, in Kingston. We're not in town and all that. So it's more like a farm setting. So my grandmother used to sell eggs and she had a sign that was on the on a post that had the prices for the eggs. That sign was now outdated and my grandfather wanted my father to take the sign off the post. My father just kept doing what he was doing and he never took the sign off the post until my grandfather got very upset with him and that's where the negativity came in he was so upset that he took the hammer and said forget it i'll take it off the post and he walked over there and to pull the the rotten piece of wood that the sign was made out of out of the post there was one nail holding that that piece of wood in the post and he could have just took the back of the hammer and just easily just pried the nail out. But because of his anger, he just went and he yanked the nail out and he ended up injuring himself because the hammer came back and hit him in the face, actually kind of damaging his eye. And when my grandfather was in his later years, he actually died blind. And nobody knows if that injury was the, the catalyst to this this injury, the, him going blind in one eye, he ended up having cataracts, I do know that, but he started wearing the eye patch. I remember real, when I was young, my grandfather used to wear an eye patch on one eye and I always asked him why, and that's when my father told me the story. And when I think back to that story, I was like, boy, if he didn't let the anger, the anger engulf him that way, he probably, he probably wouldn't, wouldn't have suffered that injury. And I've gone through situations like that in my life where I ran up my house angry at someone because I was in an argument and I end up like stumping my toe or like I, I closed my finger in the garage door one day because I was upset. And these are the things that you got to avoid. You can't let rage and anger get over you because I'm telling you, you're never going to make good decisions and you're never going to get any blessings when you're spurting out that energy because we are creatures of energy we're creatures of frequency and energy and when you're putting out energy on that frequency of negativity that's the only thing that you could receive
You get what I'm saying? That's why I say frequency. If you're sending out a negative frequency, that's the only thing that you can receive because that's the only thing you can connect with. But when you're sending out a frequency of positivity, that's when you connect. And that's when you receive those blessings because blessings are positive. You know what I'm saying? And these... Now, one key thing before I let you go because don't think that because you're setting... You're always... Because the world is not made up of just pure positivity. There's an equilibrium. There's negative and positive frequency constantly flowing through everything, especially through human beings. So the way this world works is that you're not by yourself. You're also a collective. All seven, almost eight billion of us on this planet, we're all part of each other. We just didn't figure it out yet. I'm not saying I'm smarter than everybody, but I feel that. And that's the reason why certain things will happen like this, what we just went through, this negative 2020 year of all this just like dying and turmoil and grief. This is a collective negative thing that's come because we've just went through years of pure negativity, years of negativity all around the world. World leaders have been elected. That's that's just stirred up a lot of ne negativity, not just Donald Trump in our in our country. If you check the, the stories all around the world, there's been world leaders that's just been popping up and they've been very disruptive and they've been just a catalyst to this negative vibe that's been engulfing the world. And I, I felt that, that something like this was going to happen. I didn't know it was going to be a play, but I know that there had to be something with that frequency that's been sent out there. And... I tried to stay positive through it. I was going through a lot of stuff through my life before that, but thank God that we're here on the other side of this pandemic. I'm not sure that if we're fully out of it yet, they're saying that it looks like we've passed the worst part, but thank God that we're fully, we're fully like through that, that whole dying part where people were just dying left and right. And now we can start to rebuild. And now is when we, some of us that have been in that negative rut for the year, we're going to have to start to try and be positive again, to try and get those blessings coming back to the human race. You know what I'm saying? And they're coming because we can't stay, like I said, it's an equilibrium. We can't stay on that side of the spectrum for too long. So it's coming. And that's why you hear these sayings like there's always a silver line into that dark cloud. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel because it can't stay in one way for too long. And just like when we can't just have prosperity for too long, we're going to have to have some of that negative in things. Because one thing about these negative instances that happen in your life, my one of my ways of really looking at a positive way of negative things happen in my life is that everything that happens to me that I feel that is negative I look at it like it's a lesson that I'm supposed to learn so that I don't repeat it or that it doesn't happen again and you just have to try and find that lesson in every every little turmoil that you're going through so when you lose that job you look at the lesson like, why did I lose that job? Was I really supposed to be at that job? Is it time for me to move on and I just didn't know it? Sometimes that it's just that. Sometimes it's not even your fault why you lose that job. It's your time to move on. It's your time to grow. And sometimes you need that push and the universe and God is going to give you that push. And you may look at it as a negative instance in your life. Like, damn, I got fired. But no, it's not a negative instance. You still be positive and you keep your eyes open and you'll see that next opportunity. And you, and you wonder like, wow. 10 months, six months later, a year later, you look back and say, wow, I thought it was the end of the world last year and look at me now. So guys, if you take anything from this little video right here, like I said, that is my mantra, stay positive and you will be blessed. And I truly believe that. And that's just one of the little bread from Leon the Breadman that I'm gonna be giving you on this channel. And like I said, please hit me with a subscribe, hit me with a like if you like this video. And I'll see you next time. I'm going to continue giving you knowledge like this. All right? See you guys. Bread, man. Make up yourself your life. Is that a dead man?